With the artwork, I tried to capture the Oricon attributes, also the journey going forward, you know, developing new ideas and thinking outside the box. Don't be afraid, you know, um, fearless. <laughs> So it was a very intricate painting. There's a lot of elements in there. I think um, in our business we are very sheltered from understanding um, the culture uh, and the challenges that First Australians have. Um, supporting artists is one way for us to uh, help our teams understand the challenges that Indigenous and First Australians have. Uh, it's also um, a way that we can then start to merge our cultures together over time by shared experiences and understanding of each other. I find Aboriginal culture and Oricon share similar values, like the connection to people, to country, and a focus on the future. Magnificently inspiring to see Oricon strategy represented this way, to align um, the cultural journey that we're going on uh, with our um, bringing ideas to life and being future ready, which is so very important. Um, in our business and a Western Australian context in the commercial environment we're in, uh, I just, I, I can't, in many ways I can't express in words what that journey looks like, but very simply creating a, a future together um, is, is sensational. This art is part of a broader strategy, a reconciliation action plan, an Indigenous participation plan. However, this piece of art speaks volumes. A picture tells a thousand words and every single person that sees the art can understand where they fit in. What I enjoyed about the project was working together to produce art that told a very real story. I was really scared when I was first asked to work with engineers. I thought, well, what am I doing? What, am I, what have I got myself in for? But then I got to know the team and I feel at home here. The connection to country that is depicted in the Aboriginal artwork reminds me of the wonderful connection to land and country that Aboriginal peoples have. We can all learn a lot from that. Oricon can learn a lot from that in the course of the delivery of our projects. The challenge to bring it all together, it was doing a lot of research on Oricon, a lot of research on the, the attributes, and trying to tie that into a painting that tells a story that, you know, our journey forward. There are a number of pathways here at Oricon Perth for um, the first Australians uh, for employment opportunities and uh, the first one has arisen out of the Indigenous Engineering Summer School uh, that we've participated in uh, and it's being able to give year 10 students a work experience here at Oricon and hopefully that develops further. Uh, the second is our cadet program that's underway and last uh, but not least is our scholarship program um, that we're developing and beginning to implement for the future. When we first met with Deb to talk about what Oricon represents and how we wanted our Oricon attributes, values and strategy to be represented in a piece of art, she realised how aligned it was to the Aboriginal culture, the storytelling, the connection to community, to people and the importance of projects where stakeholders work together. I'm really excited that my art has inspired others to learn more about visual storytelling. Um, I'm still learning myself which is great and you know to share it with other people is, is just fantastic. We're so proud to have this piece of art so when we have our Aboriginal students come into the office they can see that we believe that storytelling can be achieved through the uh, use of Aboriginal art. It's an honour to have it hanging there and to be such a big part of the boardroom there um, where a lot of people of course will see it and I really enjoy listening to what people say about the painting and pick out different things and I'd love to be a fly on the wall. I love the reaction we get to this piece of art. We recently had our Curtin Summer School students attend our offices and we had a Year 10 Aboriginal student say to me, I get goosebumps looking at this art. The relationship that Oricon has with a number of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists is magic. Having their artwork in our offices not only provides an opportunity for Oricon employees to connect with the artists themselves, but also to really connect with the culture of Australia's first peoples.